tonight. The smoking gun's intrepid commentators open up the video vault and present Expedition Danger. In 1983, an expeditionary force entered the jungles of Brazil, encountered danger, and captured it on film. In this episode, adventurer Stan Brock and his trusty sidekick Peter stumble across an armed interloper. Is there a reason why we're running towards gunfire? And uncover an international ring of ruthless poachers. Those skins, I'd pay a lot of money to get some of those. Those are nice. They infiltrate a heavily fortified hideout. Huh? Ah, you found my weakness, dirt! And engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, these punches are more believable than my hair. Meanwhile, talented nature photographer Nadia uses all her skills. What a bra on those things! To unleash a surprise of her own. Oh, squeeze up! Sorry. Sorry. It's all coming up next. I'm Stan Brock, your guide on Expedition Danger, Jungle Justice. Jungle Justice, oh my god, this is gonna get crazy, you guys. Roundup Day on any ranch in any part of the world has a similar blood-pounding, heady excitement. Nadia's right at home here on the Paraiso. The feeling is exhilarating. Somebody better wrangle them big, angry Brazilian breasts. I mean, the way they're heaving to and fro. Oh. God, somebody break out a lasso. I think Nadia's audition for this series went a little bit like this. Hey guys, look out. Perfect, you got the part. Time for me to get into the act. I see a runaway yearling. It's finally time for the boss to take over and for him to show us how vaccaroing is done. <laughs> got him. Stan has kind of a tendency to overdo it, doesn't he? You twist its neck as hard as you can, like that, and you bring it to the ground! Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, Stan, be careful! It took me all morning to feather your hair properly! Peter secures the calf's hind legs while Arlindo comes in to set the brand. Baby cow, I like it! Right into the skin. I decide that this might be a good time to scout around and check for strays. Rustlers are not uncommon in this part of the world. Nadia and Pete come along to help search. There they are again. Ride faster, Nadia! Ride faster! Hey, Nadia, you might want to use a job bra next time. Hold it one minute. Who's that? He doesn't look like one of our cowboys. But he does look like one of our featured extras. That looks like one of our cattle. I don't know what this fellow is up to, but I think he's pointing his gun. Well, well, that's what he's up to. He's pointing the gun at you. Suddenly, the stranger opens fire, and the bullets fly past us. Nadia goes for help. Somebody shoots a 38 in his direction, he just stands there, runs his fingers through his hair, and gives chase! The stranger's obviously a rustler. Oh, he cuts his lariat loose and heads out across the plains with Peter and I in close pursuit. Stan, you go for it, man! Brazilian breeze in my hair as it blows back my mane. Dan, I don't know if this is the best idea. Is there a reason why we're running towards gunfire? All of a sudden, the thought hits me. If the rustler ever finds out we don't have guns, we're both in a lot of trouble. Why don't we have guns, by the way? There's some crazy out here. 
This guy is pretty good on a horse. We're having a tough time gaining on him. Ah, we've lost him. I've lost him! Ah! Ostrich! I am the ostrich that mind controls the poacher. Steal more horses. More horse meat! He knows the territory, that's for sure. We can cover more ground in the plane. The plane! The plane! I'll allow him this creative license. The plane was there, yes, right when they decided they needed the plane. It happened to be 10 feet from them. I tell Nadia to take the horses and head back for the ranch. I want her to stay near the radio and wait for my call. Oh, poor Nadia. No girls allowed. I just bought a flight suit. It's for flying. A concerned Nadia watches as we take off. <laughs> squeeze them! Oh, squeeze up! Sorry. Sorry. We fly over the area, skimming the treetops for a glimpse of the rustlers. Hey, can you put your seat up? This is kind of tight back here. Ha ha, Nadia. Look who gets to go with the boys. So far, we haven't seen the rustler. Hopefully, we'll spot him soon. <sighs> what is this delay about, fellas? Come on, we gotta go get that guy. It's starting to get dark. Peter sees him. Darn it! Coming up, Stan and Peter go incognito. Nobody likes strangers on motorcycles, ever. It's always bad news. And come face to face with some badass poachers. That poacher's a mother. <laughs> Look at the feather. Damn. Plus, Nadia's vital efforts at the ranch. You know you're in good hands when the person at HQ is sitting there with a toucan and a fanny pack. And later, <laughs> see what happens oh. during the thrilling finale. Yeah. When Expedition Danger Jungle Justice continues. Want to see what Stan's up to now? Check out RamUSA.org to find out how you can help Stan make a difference through his all-volunteer remote area medical corps.